He gets out of office after being elected not once, but twice with 83% approval. So if you have to make an assessment and share with us, what, what would you say that he actually did right during the time that he was a president to come out with that kind of... Because right now, right now, Bolsonaro, Bolsonaro is, is, is but, a, but a 50%, a percent, which represents, you know what I mean, the, the, the country's divided. But he obviously did a few things right for the whole country. What would you no, the, say? The country that, is divided, and yeah. if you look at the poor parts of the Brazil, yeah. that's where Lula still has uh, some imp- relevance. But the, to answer you, it's important to go back to 2003 Correct. and remember what happened to the world. It was uh, chi- the China play. Like uh, Brazil is a, a commodities uh, uh, country. And we export a lot of uh, uh, food and all that. Uh, so, and, and China is a main partner. So uh, what happened is that Brazil was able to inflate its economy. It was not sustainable. And th- that's very important to understand because what happened after Lula gave money to everybody and the credit was a very... Uh, let, me, let me give you a number, okay, uh, to, to what he's mm-hmm. saying. Uh, when Lula took office, uh, Brazil, the federal government budget was 600, roughly 600 billion Brazilian hash, okay? Mm-hmm. When Dilma was impeached, the federal budget was 1.4 trillion. So... <laughs> They, the, the, one of the reasons is because of what Rodrigo is saying, because of the wealth, the, the exporting commodities to China and, and the development of the country, the federal government had more than twice as, as much money as they used to during Lula's and Dilma's uh, yeah. term. And I- even though G- Dilma was a, a huge failure, but people uh, don't necessarily uh, associate it with Lula. So that, that's part of the answer. But to tell you the truth, I don't believe Lula has this kind of popularity right now. We don't see that on the streets. We see right. Bolsonaro's fans, but we don't see Lula's. The, the issue is that a, a lot, especially the, the upper classes, they hate Bolsonaro. So the, the vote to vote in Lula is not necessarily to want him back. It's that you want Bolsonaro out of it. So it, that's part of the answer. And, and I understand what you're saying, but, but remove China for a moment. Right. And, and, and I understand everything that you're saying in terms of that injection of capital. Everything comes out. The fact of the matter, I want to go back to that point. It's important, though. Right. Because what, what we're trying to do is we want to make sure that we, we do have an honest approach to the whole situation mm-hmm. right now. You know what I mean? By the way, I was born in Honduras, so I know corruption and I'm willing to accept that a lot easier than most people I think in this country and even Latin America right now are behaving naively when it comes to this point. However, however. It can't just be China, though. He was able to do a number of things wrong. So I'm asking you, can you name a few things that you will say that he actually did right? I can. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think uh, Bolsa Familia, which is a, 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 a program of social wel- welfare uh, distribution. And so it was like a food stamp program mm-hmm. in Brazil. He implemented that. It, it was uh, Most people were against it. I was as well in the beginning. I was more... Um, on the liberal side of the economy, you were younger. Uh, younger, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, and and uh, it was that was that was a good program. It was very important uh, program to Brazil for people uh, that are in uh, desperate condition. Uh, and again, because he had more money, he was able to do a lot of uh, public projects, and that, that's a lot of it. But the the main reason, if you ask me, the main reason, I would have to tell you. So Reuters, okay, they publish a report every year about the trust in the media, okay, how much people trust in the media. If you, if you get the numbers in the U.S. right now, they're around 20%. 20% of the people trust the mainstream media most of the time. That's, the, that's the, the general number in the U.S. If you, if you take Republicans, this number is under 10% right now. In Brazil, in 2009, okay, under Lula's government, that number was 70%. Right now it's 48 this year. So media, media, media's trust is plummet in Brazil right now. But it's still 48%. 48% of Brazilian people trust the media, which is extremely liberal or leftist to be more precise. I know you interviewed Jordan Peterson. I like mm-hmm. to be precise mm-hmm. with my speech. <laughs> uh, so, so and, and global, because of the wrong reasons, they want money 
to tell you the truth, that's what's behind it. They want money. Bolsonaro was not giving as much money as Lula. So uh, they, they, they are against Bolsonaro. Global lies every day to the public, and there is a huge influence. And Marvin, you mentioned Honduras, and it's very important to understand that in Latin America, and look at the, our neighbors in Brazil. They, they are all left-wing right now. They are ve very radical left-wing uh, governments right now. The Foro de São Paulo is very important to understand. Lula started it in, nine, in the 90s uh, with uh, Fidel Castro. And uh, uh, there, there are uh, um, many poor people in Brazil. Uh, they don't know uh, a lot about communism. Correct. Uh, so it's it's easy to to attract those kind of people in Brazil with those lies, with populism, and that's what happened. So Lula is still a little bit popular, but we don't see that on the streets. That's very important to 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 bring here because uh, we see the numbers. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe future looks bright. If you believe future looks bright, get your latest future looks bright hat of Valuetainment. It says future looks bright here, future looks bright here. We got them in white, we got them in black, we got them in red, or black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan, bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people weren't in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this, because ain't nobody saying Future Looks Bright. To order your Future Looks Bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.